so I don't want to do these so yeah anyways what's the next mission where are we going what are we gonna do hmm don't want to do these but they might be rewarding wanted reward rare uh, sure <gasps> challenge accepted let's do this then I don't know somehow I get because I don't remember Dennis mentioning something about doing these missions and or was it Dennis that said it Wow, talk about just driving by without attacking. Oh yeah, never mind, they were attacking. But yeah, um, Dennis saying something about... I don't know if it was Dennis, don't quote me on this, I don't remember much. But somebody or something, a text popped up on the screen saying, The more of the missions you do, the more weapons become available. And not necessarily main missions, but those side quests, you know, the hunting animals and whatnot, or the reward ones of that person that's wanted. So, I guess why not? Why not just do this one? Even though I'm probably gonna get really sidetracked and then probably forget about it and just focus on the main mission. Uh, it's not even that far, but I kinda wanna have this area of the map unlocked. So that's probably another thing you need to start working on because a lot of the missions are going to be outside of the highlighted area of the map that's shown I like the one that's completely shrouded in darkness I guess I mean, look at that it's like shrouded in darkness all over the dark side is strong with it so yeah and these guys were very nice and left the vehicle but Apparently we're not that far, so I'm not gonna need their her poopy vehicle. Ah. Uh. Anyways, my mouth is really dry. I don't really have anything to drink right now. I actually finished my drink like a few minutes ago, so my mouth's starting to get dry. But while well, it's talking. Anyways, this kind of works out, seeing how there's a part here that I can unlock the map with. Although it's still going to be kind of shrouded in darkness. Seeing how the rebel scum have control of this area. Bastards. That's a long way, man. Look, there's some goat there. I go, I go. What the hell? Oh my god. This Komodo dragons. No, no. B bad Komodo. Bad. Good job. I think I just saw one. No, that's a goat. Never mind. Whoa. True fact if one of these come and attacks you in real life and they bite you, you will be dead. Because their saliva is. Uh, toxin so there you go you have a interesting fact about an animal although I don't know if those were Komodo dragons because there is another lizard that looks like the Komodo dragon except it's smaller and I don't know if it's as dangerous as the Komodo dragon ow my arm just popped here's some fighting somewhere who's fighting stop it no no fighting. Is there any loot in here? No. Um, no, I don't see anybody. So, they're pretty much probably already dead. Because I did hear something. But anyways, moving on to discover the map of darkness. Because that's what we're going to do. And that's what we do. And, oh my god, this thing looks so jaggedy, and just listen to it, I mean it's not enough that it's on top of, oh my god, uh, it's not enough that it's like on top 
of a giant ass mountain slash hill. But I'm pretty sure it's really windy up here. Even even though I, I can't feel it. I'm pretty sure it's windy. I mean you would imagine it's windy. I mean being all the way on top of a hill or a mountain. It'd be windy. Ah uh, I mean I'm surprised this thing hasn't fallen apart. Look it's freaking like 200, 400 years old, maybe. I don't know. It's just old as hell, man. I don't know how to get up here. It probably, like, was right in my face and I missed it. I mean, where do I go? Ah, I probably missed it like a dumb. Mm, it's a dog barking in the background. Oh, hey! I did miss it. I feel stupid. Whoops. It was right there in front of me. I, I'm pretty sure I looked at it like six times. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> Let's not do that again. Ever again. Moving on. Uh, stupid dog is barking in the background. The bad part is where I live, there's like four dogs and they're all in the backyard not in my backyard there's just one dog in the backyard but in the neighbor's like backyard there's like freaking dogs all over like the surrounding houses nothing but dogs so they just bark at each other i'm just guessing they like to have conversations like hey when's poker night where are you gonna play i don't know where are you gonna play hey my owner the other day gave me this sweet ass bone really my owner didn't give me anything he hates me I just imagine that's the type of conversation they have with one another. Because every time I freaking recording or doing something or trying to sleep, nothing but barking. Even at night. Nothing but barking. Like, seriously. Please stop barking. I wish I could tell them to stop barking, but it's freaking annoying. They just won't shut up. But I guess they need social interaction too, I guess. Anyways. Hopefully no Komodo Dragons or whatever the hell that was is going to come and attack me. Nothing but sheep. I'm pretty sure they're not going to attack me. Unless they become vicious carnivores. Can you imagine that? Sheeps. Carnivores. This is payback for taking our wool. Prepare to die. This is for insulting us in that one movie, Babe, with the pig. We're nothing like that. Uh, uh, I really need to start like, hunting some animals so I can increase some of my size, like for my backpack and my wallet. Maybe that's like the gun holsters also, man. I need to get on this stuff. I'm kind of like been focusing on the main mission, but I need to get on this stuff too. The thing is, I, I'm having, there's a tiger. I'm having kind of like trouble remembering like, hey, I need to do this. At the same time, I'm like focusing on, okay, I need to do this part of the main story. I got to focus on part of the main story. Same time, ooh, look at over there. It's a village or it's a tower. Or I'm just walking to a mission and BAM! I get ambushed by a red truck full of rebel scum. Wow. He's gonna attack that guy. That guy's so screwed. Wonder if I should help him. Surprised I haven't took any fall damage there. Is he okay? Where is he? Is he being killed? Is he dead already? I don't know. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. No. Bad cat. Bad kitty. Bad. Don't kill me. Shit, he's gonna kill me. Ah, oh, he killed me. Right as I was freaking healing myself. Man, that... That sucks. I wanna say I really hate cats. 
but I love all animals. Well, almost all. There's, there's some animals you just don't like. You know, I was like, yeah, I like him, I just don't want to be around him. Or his kind. So I'm pretty sure people don't want to don't be like in a house full of cockroaches or something. So yeah, you know, it's like that one room over there, don't open it. Full of rats. Ah, uh, although there's some people that do like have rats. I don't know. I'm not gonna judge. You know, it's, it's it's weird. When are we gonna find that guy again? Do I have to go back up here? I probably do, huh? Since he killed me. Still some more shooting. Sounded like the rebels or something. But man, this does suck. I mean, I was. I'm pretty sure I was just close to killing him. But then again, I was, uh. healing myself and he just kills me. It's like, what the hell, man? I was healing myself and he just goes and kills me. What is his problem? This is the greatest ride ever. I'm like that guy with the flight suit, the... Uh... Yeah, the flight suit. It's like a freaking flying squirrel where he flies at 100 miles per hour. Freaking awesome. Same time, great way to travel. Gonna land right around... Here, don't wanna hit the tree. Surprised he doesn't, like, hurt himself a little bit. What the hell? Okay. I'm surprised he doesn't hurt himself by, uh, like, the way he lands, man. It's, it's like, he just forces himself. Okay, what do we have here? Blood, no body, time to play detective. I watched that, no, I don't really watch that show. Uh, I was gonna say, like, CSI or something. I don't watch those shows. Stupid dog, still barking. Yeah, I was like the flying squirrel man there. 